What's up guys? Welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Guys, today we're going to talk about how to calculate percentages in Power BI. As always, if this is the first time that you stop by my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all the videos in Power BI. Okay? So now let's get started. So here we have four different points, okay? For the first point, we will learn the basic formula to find a percentage based on column total, okay? Point number two, we have right here the basic requirements to be successful in this tutorial. Point number three, we have right here two different ways to find percentages in Power BI. And finally, we have right here a practical case as well, okay? As you guys can see, this is gonna be fun and let's keep going percentages based on column total. What you guys are seeing here is a basic formula, right? We have right here the particular value as the numerator, and also we have right here the sum of all values as the denominator. And then this result should be multiplied by 100. All right, so now let's go to the next slide. So now requirements. In order to be successful in this tutorial, we need to be familiar with variables, okay? If you're not familiar with variables, please don't worry. I have a tutorial that will be very helpful for you, okay? I wanna share with you guys the link here as well. Also, we have to be familiar with the divide function. And this function is right here. This is the syntax. This function has three different parts and we will be using the first two ones right here, numerator and denominator, because the last one, this is optional. All right, so now let's go to the next slide. Two ways to find percentages in Power BI. There might be more than two, but just for this tutorial, uh, we will be applying two, okay? The first one is by using a measure, okay? And that's my favorite one. And the second one is by using the feature called show value as percent of grand total, okay? So please keep that in mind because we will be using these two options when we are working on our practical case. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide. All right, so here we have the practical case. We have right here two different questions. The first one, find a collected premium percentage by state by using a measure. And the other one is of course the same ask, but in this case, we need to use the show value as percent of grand total feature. All right, so now let's jump into Power BI Desktop. So now we are here in Power BI Desktop. And of course, we have right here already a data. We have a table called claims. Of course, if you guys remember, the first question is to find the collected premium percentage by using a measure, right? Okay, so let's do that. So the first thing that we wanna do is create a new measure, of course. Right click right here, new measure. All right, so let's expand this so we can visualize this better. And we're gonna call our measure premium equal right here. I'll enter, and of course, we're gonna use variables here, okay? This variable is gonna be called premium equal, I'll enter. Right here, we're gonna use the function sum, right there. And of course, we want to sum collected premium, right? It's right there. Those parentheses, I'll enter. We just created our first variable. So now let's create our second variable. So this is gonna be called all premium, okay? I'll enter and right here. We want to use the sum x function. It's right there. I'll enter. Right here, we need to use the all function. It's right there. And of course, we need to apply this function to the table called claims, right? It's right there. 
close parentheses, comma, I'll enter. And right here, we need to some collected premium. So collected premium right there. I'll enter. Boom. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, why are we using the sum x function? So this is the reason. The sum x function has two parts, basically. This part right here, this is the table. And in this case, we are able to apply a new filter, which is all. And I'm gonna give you more details in a second as well. And the other part right here is the expression, okay? So that's why we are using this function. Another reason that we're using the SAMEX function is that this function only counts numbers and that's what we want, okay? So we are using all there as a filter because this returns all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied, okay? So this is critical, guys, to find the percentages base and column total okay so now let's keep going i'll enter so now we need to use return here okay all right i'll enter and right here we need to use a divide function right the numerator of course right here we need to use the variables that we just created right right here it's, it's called premium it's right there premium is a numerator comma right here and the denominator of course this is all premium remember that we are using variables here okay close parentheses and let's approve this change all right it seems like it's working fine and let's double check okay so right here let's create a table real quick it's right there and now let's use right here state okay and now let's use the measure that we just created let's select the measure right here and let's drag this into this table boom another cool feature here is that if we go to the measure that we just created and right here we can select percentage right boom there you guys have it. Okay, so now we can see that it's working. And let's create a chart right here. Control C, Control V right here. Let's use this one right here. So we can visualize this better. Okay, so we can go to Format right here. And we can select right here, date labels on, boom. There you guys have it. Guys, we just answered the first question. We found the collected premium percentage by using a measure. So now let's answer the second question. Okay, and remember that we can create a table here as well. It's right there, okay? And now we're gonna select state right there and right here we have collected premium this is the column right collected premium right there it's right there so now we can do something really cool here we can use the feature that we were mentioning before how do we do that let's select the column here there is an arrow here right let's click on there and right here there's an option called right here show value as percent of grand total that's what we want let's hit that option and let's see what happens boom there you guys have it so that's how it works if you guys can see the numbers are the same so everything looks fine all right so now let's adjust this a little bit and let's create a chart here as well control c Control V right here, right there. And let's adjust this a little bit better so we can visualize this better, right? 
it's right there and then of course we can also go to format right here and then we can activate data labels it's on boom guys there you have it we use two different ways to find the same result okay so which one is your favorite it's up to you i personally like measures because i have more control but you can use either one okay so now let's go back to the presentation all right so this is the importance of measures i wanted to share with you guys these two tips because these are very helpful calculated measures are dynamic and respond to user interaction as i just mentioned right i like measures because i have more control they recalculate quickly and often but do not store output in the data model so they have no impact on the physical size of the data model really important the second tip right here it's mandatory to define a measure whenever one wants to display calculation values that reflect user selections and the values need to be presented as aggregates in a report so there you guys have it that's the explanation that i like measures instead all right let's go to the next slide all right guys that was it thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you found this content very helpful please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe also you can follow us on linkedin facebook and instagram thank you guys very much and see you in my next tutorial